Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Monocar Guy Rich here. Today I've got an unboxing of a 1966 Ford Mustang hardtop. AMT Ertl 125 scale kit. This is kit number 6526 and it came out in... I can't read it. 19... 1989, guys. This one came out in 1989. Man, am I reading that right? Yes, I am. I bought this kit for six dollars and seventy-six cents. <laughs> oh wait, no wait. There's another sticker here. I can't read that one. Let me see what that one says. Yeah. Yep. I bought this kit at. Meyer, there's a. It was on clearance in in 1996 apparently. So this kit was around for a little while, but it, it the kit was released in '89, but I purchased it in 1996 for six dollars and seven, eight dollars and seventy nine cents. <laughs> oh boy, been a long morning. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this paper off for the first time in over 20 years. We'll just leave it at that. There you go. There's the official unwrapping. And let's see what kind of goodies we have inside. This is a skill level 2 kit. Oh, it's molded in a, uh, a bluish gray. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but that's it, pretty neat looking color. And here's the decals. They're stuck to it. Let's gently try to pry those off. Oh, I don't know what kind of luck we're going to have on this, guys. Nice and gentle. Yeah, I think we survived. Here's the decals. Some crazy little lines from the 80s. And early 90s, apparently. MUL842. I think this says Iowa. A couple of sponsor decals, Hearst. Uh, again, one of my favorite decals there. I love model cars. I gotta see if I can find that available for real one-to-one uh, -one scale cars. I'll put those up there. And let's grab the scissors. Let's get right into this one. Hope you all are having a great day. Beautiful weather outside. Let's see here. <clears throat> and right off the bat, we have the body, which is uh, a decent um, thickness in that. I don't know what that little line is right there. It's not, well, it's kind of uh, catching my fingernail. But I don't know if it's a flaw in the plastic or if it's just something that got uh, stuck on there. We'll see if that'll wipe off with some rubbing alcohol later. Here's the front end. Very cool. Here's the back end. The sides. Nice scalloped uh, scoops there. Molded in. Very nice. A little horsey right there. Very cool. Here's the interior tub. Decent detail, you know. I mean, you could always uh, paint it up real nice. Mold it in back seat, obviously. All right. This appears to be the firewall. Yep. It's all right. Little seat belt uh, system there. This looks like the lower valance. Oh, both sides, the front and rear lower uh, valances. And this will be the rear and this will be the front. Nice. I see the parts are marked. We'll see what happens when we get into the. Uh, they're numbered. Like this is uh, steering wheel is number 25. Let's we'll see if the instructions have numbers correlating to the numbers. Very nice looking uh, dashboard. Okay, this looks like the hood right here. 
Yep, there's a hood, a little scratched up from time, but that can be sanded down, cleaned up real nice. Okay, detail on the back. It's got two little holes there. I wonder if those are uh, to be drilled out for locating pins for a scoop. I haven't seen that yet, but we'll, we're still early in the uh, unboxing here. Now these engine parts are a little bit on the thin side. Kind of a uh, lower quality feeling. Nice looking battery. Very tiny little radiator. Oil pan. Some uh, exhaust pipes. Little coolant hose. Little starter right there. The heads. Valve covers. Looks like it's going to be a 289 engine. Uh, possible dual quads. Yep, they have the uh, cross ram dual quads there. Shifter. Water pump is going to fall off if I touch it. Water pump cover. Or water pump and timing chain cover. Sta a standard uh, stock exhaust manifolds. Fan belt and pulleys. Another uh, coolant line. Kind of nice though, you know. They say it's a skill level 2 kit. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Something just fell off. Here are seats and two more valances. I don't know the difference. Maybe for a different year or a different um, model, uh, as in uh, model of the Mustang, uh, different uh, version. <laughs> Here's the front seats. They're kind of weird looking. Roll cage. Looks like... Uh, Wheelie bars, that's kind of different. I didn't expect that. Oh, okay, here's some decent, regular, normal front seats. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those other seats look like race seats. This is the uh, radiator core support here. Here are wheel backings, and yep, here is a, a hood scoop with two little pins on the bottom right there and there, so that goes along with the uh, holes that you can make in the hood. This looks like a little chin spoiler for the front. And a parachute. Okay. So we're definitely thinking a racing theme here. Here's another wheel backing. <clears throat> and the chassis. Which has molded in exhaust. And the rear end. And the leaf springs. Front end stuff. Decent thickness on that. Go ahead and put that aside. I'll put that over here so you don't have to stare at it. And we have clear glass. I don't know if that's broken or if it was just made that way. It's different. Front and rear glass and looks like uh, clear, maybe custom front um, glass because that's not a round lens for a regular uh, headlight. Let's we'll see what that's all about. A little blue printer card of course. Here's the chrome bits. One uh, one sprue tree of chrome which has stock hubcaps and some more uh, like custom wheels. I actually like the uh, the look on the box there. Whoever did that did a nice job of, of painting the uh, stock hubcaps to make them look really sharp. That's nice. Here's front grill, front bumper, air cleaner, uh, another bumper, but I don't know what if that's like the rear bumper. It's kind of kind of funny shaped. Here's the mirrors. Gauges for the uh, dashboard, I believe. Fan, shifter, little chrome uh, ignition coil, I believe that is. Yeah, those other headlights, those clear lights are uh, like custom headlights. They're square instead of round. I thought those were mirrors, but if I see this side, they're not mirrors. Fan. Valve covers, some nice uh, chrome valve covers, those are cool. A couple bullet lights for the, uh, I don't know what those are for. I'll have to look in the uh, instructions. And here's the round headlights, they're not uh, clear, they're chromed. And the tail lights. And some lysa plates. 
All right, little uh, valve covers for the, the dual quad uh, setup. All right, and for tires, oh, nice. Here, I'm just going to dump everything out right here. So we have two real nice, meaty um, Goodyear tires. They're hollow. Okay, a little, little bit on the stiffer side, though, for being hollow. They're not real soft, but they're nice. Two of those, and then, wow, we get ten tires in this kit, guys. So the, those two big ones, real thick, uh, wide uh, rear tires, and then some more modern uh, Goodyear's also that are hollow also. They clean up real nice. Those are sharp looking for a modern look. And then we have four skinnies that are more of the period correct style with the uh, less than desirable uh, wheel tread there. And these are Firestones. So that's pretty neat. Ten tires. We have two metal axles. One is uh, a little more rusty than the other, but they're there. I'm going to put them in the box. And then clear part, clear red, we have uh, just the tail light uh, filler panels. So now for the instructions. The main thing I want to figure out was, uh, what was that one part? It was a chrome piece, wasn't it? Oh, these little bullet things. Uh, Yeah, I can't read it. Can you tell me what that is? <laughs> Let's see what those are. Here, here's the instructions. Wow, it's a big, uh, a big one. Wow. All right, so what the heck? I'll pick it up for you guys. This is the, uh, this is the back of the instructions. Pretty cool. It says be sure to look for these other authentic. Uh, Authentically detailed Ertl kits, Ertl scale model kits at your favorite hobby store. 63 Corvette and a 64 Mustang. And this is a 66 Mustang, okay. Decal placement, nice. History, look at that, that's really cool, guys. A little bit of history on the Mustang itself. Very nice. Important before you begin modeling tips, standard. And then the other side goes this way, and it's basically huh, it's basically four steps in building this kit, guys. Here's the uh, the engine build, interior, engine, chassis, and wheels, and throwing the body together. And that's something. And then you can do stock, custom, and drag racing. There we go. So there's your stock version, your custom with them square headlights, see? And this one here that has a, oops, sorry, has a spoiler on the bottom. And the uh, the wheelie bars, that was cool. And the parachute. But again, I don't see those little bullet little things. Let's see if we can find them here. They're well, they're obviously not even listed. This kit is so simple. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's such a simple build that uh, we may even end up with some extra parts. Well, we're definitely going to have some extra parts, depending on which version we build. But there may be other parts that are spares. Huh. Well, that's it, folks. That's the uh, 1966 Ford AMT Ertl Mustang Hardtop. Kit number 6526. Hope you have yourselves a great day. And here it says 6526 right there. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep on modeling.